Welcome back to another episode of Hammy's Holding Pattern. I'm your host, the one and only Hammy. So, many people have been asking me what my next movie I'm going to review is. And the truth is, it's really hard to decide. On the one hand, I've got lots of movies that I love and lots that I want to express to you and share with you why I enjoyed these movies. And the same is true about the movies I hate. I want to tell you why I don't like these movies or whatever. And I've got a lot of them. And it's also hard to find movies that a thousand other people haven't already reviewed. View. So I've been going through this whole mess trying to decide on what it is so I... Go for Hammy. Hammy! Hey, Atari, what's up? I heard you're having a little trouble figuring out a movie to review. Yeah, it's becoming a bit of a struggle, man. You got any suggestions? Well, I just happened to know of a film it was a seminal film of my adolescence, influenced me quite a bit, made me the man I am today. Oh no. Oh yeah. Don't make me do this, Atari. This movie almost cost us our friendship a couple years ago. Dude, I mean, come on. You've got great acting, you've got great music, you've got fantastic metaphor, fantastic visuals. Oh my god, the animation. This the, this movie is a relic. This is this is a a a, 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 a a time capsule. This is the late 70s. Just completely the angst and everything that was involved in prog rock and progressivism in the 70s. This is it all in a nutshell, all in one fantastic, fabulous soundtrack. Oh my god. What is not to love? You're going to make me do this film, aren't you? Oh, yes. <sighs> All right. It looks like we're doing the wall. <laughs> I hate you so much right now, Atari. I'm about to sum this whole movie up in just a couple of seconds. Man goes to World War II, dies. Son grows up, goes crazy, shaves all the hair off his body, becomes like Adolf Hitler. There. That's the entire movie. You're going to see long stretches of nothing. Bizarre freaking cartoons that make absolutely no sense and are just creepy and are borderline nightmarish. So as was the theme of this movie, there is a long stretch of nothingness. The camera is going to continue to pan down this hallway for a really long time. 
I mean, part of me wonders if the director intentionally decided to make this movie as painful as physically possible. Okay, I'm just going to skip to the end of this scene. 34 seconds later. After some clips of his father getting his weapons ready and fighting in World War II and all this good stuff, it cuts back to this hotel room where our hero is sitting in there drinking, smoking, feeling sorry for himself. I mean, this guy's pretty pathetic. Bear in mind, I skipped the whole sequence where the camera pans down his arm all nice and slow, gets to his Mickey Mouse watch, rotates to see the cigarette between his fingers, and then pans back to the shot that we have established now. You see a lot of this, a lot of these establishing shots. There's shots of people running compared to these soldiers that are running under fire. And then there's shots of these civilians running, yelling and screaming, and then the soldiers running and yelling, and then the civilians getting arrested and the soldiers getting shot, and civilians getting beaten, soldiers getting killed, civilians attacking cops, Brits attacking Germans, and somehow Pink Floyd. Whew, I think you get it. Confusion then. Space cadet go. Um Pink Floyd. Alright, whatever. More Hitler references, more shots of World War II. Apparently this guy thought the best way to honor his fallen father is to become like the man that was responsible for his death in the first place. Pink Floyd? No. First interesting thing I've seen. A Stuka dive bomber, remote controlled airplane. And that would be the death of our Hero's father. You have no idea how much footage I've cut out between these scenes, and you're still getting everything integral to the plot, even everything that's not integral to the plot. It just all these boring, long, slow, unnecessary transitions. I've cut them out. You were literally seeing the movie without all the extra crap. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. Pink. Floyd, Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd. Pink. Floyd. Explain to me why the kid playing with a little toy C-130 in a church is more interesting than the rest of the movie. Eight minutes, walking out of a church, playing in the playground. Finding his dad's uniform. I warn you, this is going to be one of the more disturbing things you've seen in a movie. Believe it or not, I get it. I actually do. It's about the monster that is the war machine. Casualties <clears throat> disguised as a noble crusade. It's hippie crap disguised as art. The director clearly targeted the stoned audience. Bunch of high limeys laying around saying, Oh God, do you get that? These people here are just wasting their lives. And look at the Union Jack getting all bloody and... Uh, oh dude, this is such art. It's crap. Bleeding crosses, ghost of dead soldiers, what looks like a nuclear apocalypse. And then the bleeding cross drains into the gutter. I mean, it's Pink Floyd. They spent a couple of minutes 
showing these kids get to the train tracks just to show them pass. And this is a tie-in to the only Pink Floyd song that most people know. We don't need no education. Oh hell no! Some scenes of him getting his first cigarette, spying on the neighbor girl, stepping on glass for some reason, and then 60s and 70s activism. Oh, did Pink hang up? Okay, that's his buddy Pink, and it took him about 2 minutes and 45 seconds for him to get to the payphone to make the call for Pink's wife to answer the phone, to hand it to Pink, just to have Pink hang up the receiver. Almost three minutes of, I'm not going to take your call. Art? Does this art, is this what art's supposed to look like? I don't get it. I don't even know if YouTube is going to let me play this whole thing. Basically, one flower becomes a penis, one flower becomes a vagina, and it's pretty lewd for animation's sake. And this scene is so long. I'm looking at flower porn. This, oh, I hate this movie.